Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of September 23rd through the 29th. This week I am using a kit from Paper Dove Shop. It is the Carly kit. I'm not sure whether or not she still has it up in her shop, but I will for sure link it down below if she has it. So for this week I used the date dots that came with the kit along with some silver date, or I'm sorry, the date covers that came with the kit along with silver date dots from Scribble Prints Co. This was the first week of fall and I don't know, I just, I really like coffee kits in the fall for some reason, so that's why I decided to pull this one in. And then I also wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. Since my last plan with me, we did hit 200 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing and for liking my videos and leaving comments. You guys are all just the sweetest people ever. And I really appreciate you for supporting my channel by, you know, watching. Also, if you haven't yet, I did link my, or I do in every video, link my Instagram account down below in the description box. If you are interested in seeing a spread sort of more in depth or, you know, having me tag specific shops for where stickers are from and things like that, I do always link that down below if you are interested in checking it out. So for the glitter headers this week, I did pull in two shades of glitter header from Scribble Prints Co. And then I also pulled in silver block headers from Magic Prints Co. I thought that the silver would look really nice with this kit, especially with all of the cool tone shades. So I really wanted to pull that in for this week. So like I mentioned, since it was the first week of fall, I also added in this silver foiled Hello Fall sticker from Rose Colored Days. I think I've had those for a couple years already, but I just love how that font looks. Moving into my sidebar, I did my typical three habit trackers. One of them was actually from the freebie. Then I used a marble header and a weekly checklist, and then a to-do header and a weekly, or a heart, ombre heart checklist. Yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. And then at the bottom of the checklist, I just cut off the extra heart that didn't fit. I also switched out that marble header for a little things header in the middle. And then I added my icons to my habit trackers. The first two are from Magic Prints Co. and the dollar sign is from Scribble Prints Co. Moving into the day by day, the first thing that I marked on Monday was work with a letters to Apollo script over a washi strip from the kit. Then I put a half box down and I think, how did I do this? I did this totally out of order. So in that half box, I used a laptop from the kit and an edit sticker from Kinsey's Creations to mark editing. And then above that, I used a washing machine sticker from Magic Prints Co. along with another script sticker from Kinsey's Creations. In the afternoon, I used a TV little thing to mark that I had watched some Kochoki. And then I painted my nails. I marked that with a flag from the kit along with the paint nail sticker that also came with the kit. And then at the end of my evening, I just cut up one of the ombre heart checklists and put it upside down. And then over top of that, I put a scribbler from Scribble Prints Co. along with a Plan With Me binge sticker from Kinsey's Creations. On Tuesday, I marked work the same way I had on Monday. And then I guess I did this week all sorts of out of order. Then I put in a half box with a tired AF girl from Whimsical Cat Studio. Then I used a sticker sheet sticker that came with the kit, along with a $2 Tuesday script from Whimsical Plans to mark $2 Tuesday. In the second box, I wanted to mark that I had filmed at the bottom, so I used another scribbler from Scribble Prints Co. and a quarter box that came with the kit. Then I used another checklist that I had cut up, and I wanted to mark going to World of Beer Taco Tuesday, so I used a beer sticker from Midnight Snack Planner and a coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then to take up some space, I used the black with silver foil, simply gilded washi. I believe that is the 10 millimeter. On Wednesday, it was my uncle's birthday, so I wanted to be sure to mark that with a Scribble Prints Co. sticker. Then I needed to go to work, and I marked that the same way I had on Monday and Tuesday. When I got home, I did a YouTube binge and, oh, I didn't want to cover up that like coffee stain in the half box, so I switched it upside down. Then I put down a TV icon that came with the kit along with a YouTube binge sticker from Kinsey's Creations. In the evening, pretty much all I did was reorganize my stickers. I had kind of a stack that 
I had gotten in the mail recently and hadn't put away yet, so I wanted to make sure I did that. So I used a flat lay sticker from Paper Shire, an organized stickers sticker from Kinsey's Creations, and then I capped off my evening with another simply gilded washi piece. On Thursday, I marked work like I had, and then I wanted to mark that I had gotten Panera for dinner, so I used the utensils little thing from the kit. And I also needed to mark that Maisie went to the vet, she had to have a blood test, and the Shih Tzu sticker is from Planning Made Easy. In the evening, the first thing I wanted to mark was reading, and I used a silver foiled book sticker from Magic Prince Co. along with a read script from Kinsey's Creations. Then I took a quarter box and a sighing emoji head from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had had a headache, and I just had to move that emoji head a little bit to the side so that I had more room to fit the script from Kinsey's Creations. Then I used another piece of Simply Gilded Washi to take up some space. And then I used a washi strip from the kit along with a sloth onesie emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I went to sleep early. On Friday, the first thing that I marked again was work, like I have been all week. Then I used another piece of Simply Gilded washi to take up some space and a half box from the kit. I used the ninja spending money emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. along with a planner sale sticker from Kinsey's Creations to mark that it was the ultimate planner sale happening that weekend. Then I used an Aubrey Hart checklist that I cut up with a YouTube emoji and a YouTube binge sticker from C. Amy Draw to mark that I had done a YouTube binge that day. Then I used another piece of Simply Gilded washi, and I know I'm going a little bit out of order here, but this is just sort of how it's chronologically laid out in my planner. I used another beer sticker from Midnight Snack Planner to mark that we had gone to World of Beer for a date night. On Saturday morning, I woke up with a migraine, so I used this, like, cringing crazy eye emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a migraine script from Kinsey's Creations to mark that. And then I snuggled my kitten and the gray cat sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. And then I marked taking a nap with a sheep emoji onesie from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a nap time script from Whimsical Plans. Again, I'm doing this all out of order, but I wanted to mark a Hulu binge. That laptop sticker is from Moonlight Paper Co. And then that binge watch sticker is from Paper and Milk. Then I snuggled Maisie and I marked that with another Shih Tzu sticker from Planning Made Easy. And then in the evening, I wanted to sleep early. Well, I really didn't have a choice because I wasn't feeling very well from my migraine that day. And I used this panda blanket emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. On Sunday morning, I used a flag and the laundry day sticker that came with the kit to mark that it was laundry day. Then I wanted to clean out my closet, and again, I cut up one of the ombre heart checklists to mark that, and I used another emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then after cleaning out my closet, I wanted to do my voiceover, and that microphone sticker is from Soda Pop Studio. In the afternoon, I wanted to build the furniture that I had purchased from Ikea the previous week, so I used a building furniture emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I unpacked some boxes, and the silver box sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And then I had a little bit of trouble with the spacing with the last two boxes. And then I used a film slate from Mandy Dreams to mark that I had uploaded by Plan With Me. And then another silver foiled nail polish sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark painting my nails. So here is the finished spread and everything that I have left in the kit. I did do a viv wiggle sort of at the end to show off all that gorgeous silver foil. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Again, thank you so much for subscribing and please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video and have a good weekend guys. Bye!